Paul Deckenbach considers himself a lucky man. He's alive today because of some quick thinking on his part. He woke up with chest and upper back pain and uh, uh, it woke him from sleep, I believe, and called 911 and was brought into the, to the hospital. Paramedics wasted no time getting Paul to the emergency room. They realized he might be dealing with a thoracic aneurysm on his aortic artery. ER doctors were able to avoid a rupture and save Paul's life. Nowadays, after 40 years of service as an Episcopal priest, he's retired and lives in San Francisco, where he still occasionally serves as a volunteer at Grace Episcopal Cathedral. Each par parish I was in was different and uh, needed different things in order to make it work. Paul monitors his condition carefully now that he knows he's part of a high-risk group. He had a thoracic aortic aneurysm, so an aneurysm uh, in the chest. He had, uh, was in his uh, 70s and does have some associated heart disease uh, as well, a history of smoking in his past. Smokers are at risk, as are those with a history of heart disease but often there's no identifiable cause for an aneurysm. An aortic aneurysm is a ballooning out of the aortic wall. The, the blood inside the aorta is there under pressure. We're all familiar with the fact that we have a blood pressure. These weakened aortic walls from aortic dissection are prone to rupture, just as many of the other aneurysms from other causes are. Most aneurysms have actually been present or, or growing for, for a long period of time. Patients have probably had an aneurysm, maybe at least a small aneurysm for years before they actually come to clinical attention. Routine ultrasound or CT screening can detect the presence of an aneurysm and determine the viability of surgical repair procedures. After assessing the risks of a possible rupture, Paul opted for a minimally invasive endovascular stent graft procedure as an alternative to open chest surgery. They opened up a place at the, the top of my leg and uh, fitted in a, a stent that was made to order. It's held it together ever since. The procedure uses the femoral arteries to channel a stent into place within the thoracic aneurysm. With X-ray technology, the procedure is directed to help deploy and carefully secure the stent graft in place. Well, it's uh, like having a piece of borrowed time given to you. I think that he made a good recovery from the procedure. Very good. He's had some ongoing issues due to his, his heart disease, but overall has been doing uh, uh, quite well. It's like having a little piece of life that uh, you realize you uh, might not have had at all. Because of that, it becomes more precious.